Hey there everybody. So if you own a freight liner, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about here. I'm talking mostly to you, but could apply to all trucks. The airbag lean. Freightliner Columbia's, Centuries, Coronado's, the older Cascadia's, they're all prone to bad airbag lean, which means your airbag, instead of sitting straight up and down, will lean one way or another. And it can get pretty severe. Actually cause you some really bad tire wear. Um, I've gotten to the point with that where in the last month I've been blowing airbags. I've gone through a couple suspension leveling valves. Um, all kinds of crazy stuff like that. And decided I needed to do something about it once and for all. Been researching this for a while. Nobody's been able to tell me what the heck the problem is. But I think I kind of figured it out here uh, between my alignment guy. We had some discussions, and he's done a couple things uh, with other trucks. I decided to try, and so far it looks like it's holding up pretty good. So I had to replace a couple bare airbags in this process. This truck is a glider that I bought from Schneider. They built it, and I never realized until I got into airbag problems, I had mismatched airbags. So we we changed two of them so they all match now. But another symptom of of all this is is bad bushings. I've put bushings in this truck oh twice in the last year and a half. I put the atro polyurethanes in, and this truck just will not hold bushings. And I've been blowing shocks like crazy. Well, part part of that's due to condition of our roads but these the sideways lean on these airbags and, and what's going on here is putting too much stress on the shocks so if you're going through bushings well number one if you got an older truck your eyelet here in the spring is probably spread a little bit allowing your bushings to move and uh you know excessive wear which that's part of the reason your airbag will lean because that spring can can move around on that bushing. So number one, that's one of the things that lets your airbags lean. But here's the biggest problem. And uh, I just had this fixed, so I'm going to show you the new parts. <clears throat> I'll just show you on this one side here. Okay, we are under the truck. Here's where our U-bolt goes over the axle. You get a little block there. Comes down, goes through this block. You have this spacer block between the spring and the axle. You can't tell till you pull everything apart. That block is a wear item. I just replaced all these springs. So you got this little plate in there. You got that thin little plate. That's part of the spring. When I pulled my springs off, that plate was worn down to nothing in spots. It was just gone. And this block here was had been moving. It was polished so bad. Well, I took a short video at the shop. I did not have their permission to video inside their shop, so I just drug a couple parts out in the parking lot and talked about them. I'm going to play that for you here shortly. But <clears throat> your U-bolts can't hold tight when this block is, is sliding around. It lets the spring walk around. And then your airbags end up leaning. And my truck was getting so bad that you could stand behind it and visibly see the rear axle was cocked this way, the front axle would be cocked this way, or they'd both be cocked one way. But <clears throat> it was bad enough where you could visually see it with the naked eye. So I hate sticking that kind of money into a truck, and I had to make a decision of, well, this truck is either wore out, it's time to get rid of it, or we're gonna put some money into it and do a complete fix on it. I chose to do the second route because there's some other reasons for me to keep this truck. I like the truck. Gets great fuel economy. Unbelievable fuel economy. It's paid for and it's fairly simple. There's no emissions on this truck. It's relatively, I don't wanna say easy to fix things, but I'm familiar with everything on it. So. Yeah, so if you're having this problem, take it in, and you're going to have to insist 
they're not going to want to do it because they want to do what they want to do. But find a place that will listen to you. Replace this spacer block here. When you do that, put new U-bolts on. Check the condition. You got a plate on the bottom of the spring here. See, it's part of this mounting bracket. It goes all the way up. And then you got this plate on top of the spring. And they're held on. There's a pin basically that goes through. That pin sits on that plate sits on top of the pin. That plate sits on the bottom of the pin. Okay. And uh, this will wear down to nothing with that block walking around. Okay, real quick here. I'm at the shop where we're doing this work and um, I have to kind of protect their confidentiality here and don't want me videotaping inside their shop and stuff, which I understand, but showing you what's uh, the main culprit cause of this airbag lean on the Freightliners. These are the blocks that hold underneath the axle. This is basically the spring to the axle. See how these are all polished off here? And there should be a lip when I go like this. They're polished down smooth right to the to the main block here. So this has been walking around on the axle for a very long time. Here's another one. These are both off the passenger side. They're just basically polished down to nothing here. So, and, and here's what the spring looks like. You can see there's this plate on here. And see that? The plate's worn down to nothing, it's, it's broken, it's missing. So these have been walking around on there and on the axle, which lets the airbag shift like that. And uh, basically your axle's kind of walking around is what it amounts to. Ugh. These things are heavy, but uh, you can see this plate on the bottom too. That's in, in good shape yet, but uh, yeah. So we're here, we decided once and for all to fix this problem going to cost some money I'll let you know at the end if I feel comfortable sharing that with you and uh, when this is out of the shop and I'm home again I'll go through the truck here and explain everything to you this is a, a way bigger job than I cared to take on myself It'll take me a very long time to do this and uh, these guys are gonna knock it out in about a day and a half here but with ordering parts and everything but look how bad that is it's just gone know so hopefully this will solve our problem and I'll keep you updated on that but I've had these in uh, multiple times they'd loosen up the springs straighten up the airbags tighten it back down and realign the truck but it's been causing me some other problems You're blowing airbags and went through a couple suspension leveling valves and just uh, w you know, of course the worn tires so decided once and for all to take a run at fixing this and Hopefully this does the job, and I think it's a pretty good step towards it. So, oh, look here, you can see my my bushings blown out too. These bushings are a couple months old. And you can see the crack down underneath there. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, anyway, I had to make this real quick here because they don't really want me videotaping in their shop, so we'll explain the rest later. So this thing should hold tight for some time. I'm going to take it in at 10,000 miles, just retorque the U-bolts, and then probably again, I don't know, six months later, retorque the U-bolts again, because new U-bolts, they, they will stretch a little, you know, there's a break in. New U-bolts will stretch more than if you reuse the old ones, but, you know, if you redo it, if you're doing this job, you do it right. They're not all that expensive. So I did all four axles. You can see that one up there. We got that one over there. That's a new airbag. This is a new airbag. They caught it with the jack when they were jacking up the frame. <clears throat> so also here, what those axles walking around will cause, you got these two torsion bars, one here on the rear drive axle, one up towards the front. They go across your frame. I just replaced these eight months or so ago because of bad bushings I put the atros in that axle walking around ate up those bushings again so we had to replace that front and rear torsion arm torque arm torsion arm whatever the heck you want to call it so we 
in all practicality, rebuilt this rear suspension. So I have some significant investment in it. And you're saying to yourself right now, what the hell, this is the DIY channel. Why did you not do it yourself? Well, you got to realize when a job is too big for you or not worth your time or, you know, you don't have the tools. This was a big job. This was a considerable job. I watched them do it and it, they struggled with it with a couple people working on it. You basically, essentially you're dropping the axles off the frame and, and uh, you need some big equipment to jack this whole frame up, support the truck. I don't have a one inch impact or a compressor big enough to run one. Plus, I don't just don't know if I'm that motivated to do a job that big. So let's go up here to the front and see what we did up here. So since we were on here, my tie rods were a little sketchy, so we put new tie rod ends in. This is a, that whole rear end thing is an inherent design flaw in the Freightliner because of that underslung spring. The spring goes under the axle instead of over. It's a poor design. Another poor design they do on these Columbia's, Centuries, Coronados, Columbia's, I'm, I'm not terribly sure, haven't driven one. They come with a leaf and a half leaf spring. So if you look at your leaf spring, be one long piece, there's th that factory leaf spring, there's not a lot of curve in that thing. It's pretty flat. So right there, you're not getting much of the suspension. And from the middle point here to the rear is just a single spring. Then from the middle point to the front, it has two. So that's called the leaf and a half. And that's a poor design. These front ends just hammer when you hit bumps. And I believe that's a good part of the problem why I've been, you know, breaking different wiring and having some different problems too is the, the amount of vibration and hammering we're doing here. So we replaced that with a double leaf spring. You can see double all the way front to back. And I tell you what, the difference, I wish I would have did this years ago. It's well worth the money. All in all, parts and labor for this, to do these two leaf springs for the front, you're looking at, hmm, about $1,000. But it's $1,000 well spent. I tell you what, I'm, I'm glad I did that. The rear end, if that holds together, I'll be pretty happy I did that too. So, we got some money into it, but we're planning on keeping this truck here for a while. And uh, I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about with that underslung spring we'll go between the wheels here see how that spring sits underneath the drive axle it's just not a not a great design should have a different design to it I like the Kenworth and the Peterbilt suspensions they're pretty slick and they ride nice but these Columbia's and Centuries are cheap fleet trucks so you get what you pay for. There's that front torque, torque arm cross there. You can see it down in there. And uh, new bushings all the way around. If you're doing this and it's, uh, you gotta put bushings in it anyway. Put the polyurethane in ones, polyurethane ones in. Um, although we're gonna see how these sets of bushings go. Um, like I said, I've replaced these a couple times, so the luster is kind of wearing off this uh, polyurethane thing, but willing to give them the benefit of the doubt because I had these other problems. So that can cause your bushings to go bad, polyurethane, rubber, or otherwise. So hopefully this set holds up. And uh, we'll stop chewing up tires, blowing out shocks, blowing airbags, all kinds of stuff. If all that gets better, it was well worth it. But I wanted to do this video because um, I've not found anybody else that could tell you what that problem is with that airbag lean. And with those airbags leaning, they're essentially not working. You know, uh, it rides like hell. And, you know, your airbags aren't doing their job because they're, they're crooked, you know. So... I'll keep you posted on how that holds up. I'm going to go back in in a month 
he's gonna just gonna recheck my alignment with everything breaking in and uh I'll let you know how it goes <laughs>